Okay, so now you've done the D chord, let's do another chord and then try the A out. Okay, so A. We're going to put our first finger on the fourth string on the second fret. Now, we're going to have all three fingers in the same position here, so you need to have your first finger back a little bit for this, in this case. So you'll see that instead of having a really high position for your first finger, we're going to be back there on the second fret, but just inside the second fret, because we need to put our second finger straight underneath it on, this, on the second fret as well, but on the next string down. Same for the next finger, so there's three in a row. Best way to think of A, three in a row. A, three in a row. If you can brainwash that, then you'll have no problems. Then the bottom string is left open, so no fingers on the bottom string. And we strum that from the fifth string down. So from the fifth string, we've got five strings. Now when you first do that chord, you might find it sounds more like this. Or even when you first do that. That's okay, just gotta press down a little bit harder and uh, you'll find that the, when your fingers form calluses nice and strongly, you, that chord will sound nicer. And also, uh, just adjust your hand position too much, but don't worry too much about the sound, it's more about the feeling of the chord, the A chord. Now there are a few variations on A, and I'll go through them. Some people learn A with one finger flat, and just strum across those three strings. They flatten those strings in the bottom string, they just don't strum, because otherwise you'll get a funny note that you don't want. That's one version of, another version of an A. Another one is, instead of doing first finger, second finger, third finger, they go second finger, first finger, third finger. Scrunched into that little shape there. Now you can change that if you want to. If you happen to have really big, fat, what I call sausage, sausage fingers, it doesn't actually put you off playing guitar at all, you can actually just adapt it. So instead of using all three fingers, you might only use two fingers to do the chord. So in this case, my first finger is going to cover the top two strings of, that I have pushed down, which is the fourth and the third string, and then the third finger just jumps in underneath and covers that third, uh, the second string nice and easily. Or you can change that around, so it's the other way around. Whatever way you prefer, but um, try starting out with a three in a row, and you'll see why later on as we do more other chords, but three in a row is a good way to start. And if you can't, you've got three other options of doing that A chord and strumming from the fifth string down. Remember to miss the top string out. We don't want to hear the top string just from there down. And that's the A chord.